Weather Center. Here is your Storm Team 29 forecast. Well, I'm starting to see a subtle change in the weather pattern. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. That change is some serious clouds starting to move into the picture. Here's a look outside live from downtown Charlottesville. See those clouds on the eastern and northeastern horizon as we look towards Pantops Mountain. Also notice some of the flags there flapping in the wind. If you have a breeze this morning, temperatures are near 50. If the wind is calm in your area, you're well down into the 30s. Now with that breeze during the air today and mainly dry conditions until this evening, Tree pollen levels are going to be high today and tomorrow, a little bit lower on Tuesday with a better chance for some uh, widespread showers around here. Temperatures are wide ranging 37 Louisa, 47 Charlottesville, but 36 into Stanton. We will all quickly rebound to the 50s, 60s, and some of you in the low 70s by mid afternoon before any shower chance. Dry skies continue for now on NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar network, but the big picture shows a few clouds on the increase from the east and also from the northeast. We've had fair weather there, uh, this morning and it will continue through about uh, early to mid afternoon, but to the west Appalachians, Ohio Valley, see these green areas. Well, those are showers, even a couple of downpours near Columbus and Cincinnati. This system is going to head our way by the end of the day, giving us a few rain showers. Lots of chilly air behind that cold front, but the, that cold air is going to go right back up into the Great Lakes and Canada. The chilly air will never make it east of the Appalachian, so expect a warming trend. It'll feel like summertime on Wednesday. The next big thing I'm watching for the Weather Center is that cold front. Let's track it hour by hour. This morning, Futurecast has a great handle on things. Fair skies right now. Noon, clouds begin to fill in by 4 p.m. 5 o'clock showers, maybe even a little downpour here or there over the Shenandoah Valley Blue Ridge Mountains. 6, 7, 8, Central Virginia will see that activity. And just a leftover shower overnight. Now tomorrow, the best chance for a shower will be near and south of the James River. That's mainly near and south of I-64 to the north of Charlottesville. Most of you will see drier skies and more sunshine. So right through Thursday, low rain chances. Uh, most areas get less than a quarter of an inch of rain, but look what happens on Easter Sunday. Wow, that's a lot of rain in excess of two inches possible. That's the early call for Easter Sunday is for some wet weather on here. So until then, today's forecast, increasing clouds, evening shower chance, highs upper 60s and low 70s for tonight. Widely scattered shower, lows by dawn, upper 40s to low 50s. Monday's forecast, more the way of sun north of I-64, cloudier skies to the south with that chance for a shower from Stanton, Waynesboro, Lovingston to, to uh, Dillwyn. That's the corridor most favored for a brief shower. Michael and Sun, seven-day forecast. Here we go. 71 on Monday, 76 Tuesday, better chance of rain Tuesday, 80 on Wednesday. Few more showers on Thursday, dry on Good Friday and Saturday, a little cooler than the low to mid 60s. And Lottie can't roll out some uh, widespread rain Easter Sunday, but hey, we've got seven days to watch that forecast, right? Well, for sure, something that I'm sure people's gardens, lawns will appreciate. We need it. All right, thank you, Josh. Thank you for joining us. As we head to a break, here's a live look over Charlottesville. We're back in two minutes.